The only bad thing is we're not getting revenue. It's a vote that could very well make a popular mid-state lake destination a little wetter. Some Smithville business owners believe legalizing alcohol sales will help the local economy there, but others believe selling booze would be a big mistake. Fox 17's Roger Suzanne reports on why Smithville voters will have a difficult decision regarding hard liquor. If you're looking for a stiff drink in DeKalb County, you can find it at Maggie's Landing. Cheers. But if you drive less than a mile east down Highway 70 into the Smithville city limits, you can't buy hard alcohol. It's time for Smithville to get in step with the days and times of right now. Local businessmen Burt Driver and Randy Paris are fighting to change Smithville's liquor laws. They believe tourists who visit Center Hill Lake are being underserved and it's costing Smithville big bucks. It's not about alcohol. It's about tourism. It's about recreation. It's about moving the city forward. Driver in Paris gathered more than 100 signatures on two petitions. Now, in November, Smithville voters will decide whether to legalize liquor and wine sales in restaurants and whether to allow liquor stores to open. Everybody around us has it, too. And they're receiving the revenue. I don't want to lose that revenue. I want to keep it here for us. But some folks who live in the area stand against the idea. I think it caused problem. I believe it would. I just don't see any need to uh, uh, change what's been a really wholesome atmosphere in Smithville up to this time. Dan Gully is a minister at the Smithfield Church of Christ. He believes the negatives of bringing liquor into the city would far outweigh any potential positives. Not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. And uh, to me, uh, the use of especially hard, uh, hard liquor definitely fits into that category. In Smithville, Roger Suzanin, Fox 17 News. The referenda will appear as two separate items on the same ballot November the 4th. Smithfield re residents voted down both proposals two years ago.